The learning objectives of this module are to know the indications for Turkel chest tube placement, know the contraindications for Turkel chest tube placement, outline how to perform the procedure, and identify potential complications of Turkel chest tube placement. So the indications for placing a chest tube include a tension pneumothorax, one that hasn't resolved with nudothoracentesis, a pleural effusion, a hemothorax, chylothorax, or an empyema. There are no true contraindications, though precautions include coagulopathy and profound thrombocytopenia. First, we set up the kit. This is the chest tube. Our connector, additional syringes, and sterile equipment. It's important to position the baby appropriately before starting any procedure. Assuming this infant has a left-sided tension pneumothorax, you will want to place the arm above the head and secure it, and a roll to appropriately position. Pre-medicate with morphine or fentanyl, and ensure that you obtain parental consent if it's a non-emergent procedure. You then perform a timeout as per institutional protocol, perform sterile dress, and clean the area with chlorhexidine or betadine as appropriate. You then identify the proper landmarks, which would be the mid-axillary line in the fourth or fifth intercostal space. You would then drape the baby sterilely. We will now insert the chest tube. Again, identify your landmarks. You go directly above the rib. And go until you see the hub turn green. You will then want to insert your chest tube another two to three centimeters. Aiming apically should it be a pneumothorax and posteriorly should you be draining fluid. You then remove the needle fully. Attach your tubing and then attach your end piece to your pleuroback. After completing these steps, you will want to secure it in place by using occlusive dressing such as petrolatum, then cover with a small amount of dry gauze and secure with tegaderm. We then obtain an AP and lateral chest x-ray to verify position. Complications do include infection and bleeding, and less commonly, a persistent pneumothorax, organ perforation, a phrenic nerve injury.